Hi and welcome back to AWE 2023 here in the US. I'm here at the Sense Glove booth with Hayes. How are you doing, Hayes? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm nice. good too. Glad to be here. Lots of cool hardware to check out. Yeah, nice that you're here. Yeah, exactly. Finally, I get to check out the Sense Glove. So this is the newest version of your haptic glove. Tell us all about it. Actually, it's a prototype. Okay. It's a prototype of what I know about too. And uh, well, obviously we know, we have the Nova One with the porous and vibro tactile feedback, but we got as feedback from our clients that they were missing something at the inside of the hand. So that's the reason why uh, in this new you know, iteration of the glove, we also have what we call active contact feedback. So this strap folds around your hand. Here, this part here. So you you have pressure here in the in, in the inside of yeah. your hand. So it folds around your hand, oh. and there's also vibro tactile there. So once you grab an object together with the force feedback, you really feel the size and the density of the object, okay. not only on your fingertips, but also really at the palm of your hand. And that way, um, yeah, the grip gets more realistic and the uh, experience get more yeah, immersion, immersive. Nice. So on top of this here, you also still have the force feedback. Yes, if you, gri if you grip, grab something. Yeah, yes, correct. So, so you how see does the, that work? You see those wires? Uh, that run into the glove and those are connected to something we call a magnetic friction brake. Okay. And as soon as you detect collision in the virtual environment, that brake gets current and kind of stops the hand from moving. And you can do that in a kind of variable force. So if you have a soft object, you do a little bit less current. Ah, okay. And when you do um, a harder object, you have a direct stop. And it can deliver up to two well, kilograms or so 20 Newton of force. So yeah, it's kind of uh, yeah, really restricting your hand. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. To, if you want to grab something. How about um, the the pinky? We don't need uh, any force feedback there. No, only the English for <laughs> drinking tea, you know, but <laughs> actually... That's the English, <laughs> that's the UK version. The UK version has one. <laughs> the UK version, okay. <laughs> but no, uh, without joking, we had an exoskeleton glove before with five fingers. Yeah, And but the English didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we just did... Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry people from the UK. <laughs> we just, uh, yeah, switched off the pink for 100 demos. Okay. And only two persons noticed that the pink was switched off. All right. So it saves weight, uh, which is obviously nice and right. wearable. It saves a bit of cost. Okay. Uh, yeah, and yeah, nobody needed it. So why okay. would we use it? Makes sense. So how does this get tracked? I saw some HTC Vive um, yeah. trackers. Yeah, so uh, in space, in a sense, we need external tracking. Of course, it makes that sense. It can be with HTC or it can be with a controller. Uh, but the finger tracking is done by the glove itself okay. with, uh, the, with the strings that know how far the strings are bent. Okay. And then uh, you know how, how your fingers are moving. This. Got it. Who's your target audience for this? Yeah, so it's really enterprise uh, type of, of, of solution. So everywhere where there's like expensive equipment, what you want to train like maintenance or assembly on, but you don't want to withhold from operation, that's where you see companies using our gloves. So like, okay. let's say VW that has a dummy assembly line, but they want to make that virtual, but they want to have that realistic like connection of cables, uh, realistically grabbing a drill, using the power tool. Okay. That's where our glove uh, is mostly used uh, nowadays. Okay, great. Um, when does this new version come out and how expensive is it going to be? Yeah, so this is a prototype of the new version. Uh, we are building it into production in Q4, so that's when we release it to the public. The expensive, uh, it's 6,000 euros or US dollars. Um, for one pair, if you buy multiple, we can make special pricing for you. Uh, and then one uh, pair is six thousand. Yeah, one pair is six thousand. Okay. And the we discount now the old one, so the old one was five thousand and is now four thousand. Okay, perfect. So um, I'm looking forward to try this out now. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot try this one ah, yeah. yet, but okay, you're oh, invited no. in our office. Okay, yeah, I'm not far as from. As soon here. as it's ready. Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, you can try the Nova One now. Okay, I'll try the Nova One. Thanks so much. Until until now. Thank you so much. Yes. So now, now you're in a space station. Try to get your hands on the table just to feel uh, like where the table is. Oh, yes. And you feel some resistance already on your fingers. OK, I have a table in front of me. And as soon as I place my hands on the table, I feel like a little, little clicks on my fingers. And now there is a coffee cup in front of you. Try yeah. to grab that. And you grab things between your thumb and another finger. So fold your fingers around it. There you go, and you feel the resistance on your fingers. Okay, I will try it again. So now I'm trying to, to grab a coffee cup. Yes, and 
And on the other side there's a stress ball. Those sensors, those motors um, will stop my fingers from going even further. But to be honest, it does not feel like this is uh, perfectly aligned with the coffee cup. No, it's, it has a little bit to do with your calibration. Okay. We did a very quick one. Yes, okay, uh, great. And once you're used to the objects, you can press begin on the screen in front of you. Yes, I am. And now there's, there's a black a data, data card in front of you. Yes. And then on, on like really at your belly, there's a data card. Look down. Ah. There you go. And put it in in the reader there. Okay, great. And now there's no demo without explosion, so that was your explosion. <laughs> and on the right side is a drill. And ah, you can now I have a drill here? Yeah, you have a drill. Okay, and now I'm excited how this will feel like. I can't see what you're seeing because you're outside of ah, Okay. As soon as you stretch your index finger, yeah. Okay, I think the tracking is completely broken, to be honest. But I feel like the haptics um, on my on my hand here, this is quite good. But like the finger, the finger detection here in this demo, unfortunately, today here in the booth, it's not like... Shall we give you another... Is it lagging? It's lagging, so it does not do what I do with my fingers. Okay, yeah, that's uh, the Bluetooth issue we had before. I can... I mean, but when I do this, this is okay. okay it, shall it I give you a one more calibration? So we do ones here and okay. then just move your hands, open and close your hands a bit. Move your thumb around a bit. And then give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I'm going to check a demo and see how it, how it feels. Okay, and now I'll try now again. Try again. Is that better or uh, not even really, worse? Not really, <laughs> to be honest. But it's 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 okay. I mean, I, I get how this works. It's like um, normal here on exhibitions where so much uh, interference here. But I, I feel like really the strength of the motor. I can feel like how this will stop my finger. And yes, how will how this will give me more immersion. So just try to do the whole demo with... Uh, yeah. Press and begin. Data card clear. Okay, what's next? Okay, now the get to the drill. Now I get to the drill, yes. I have it. Okay, where's the, the screws from the box? Ah, okay. So now I have my drill in my hand, and I will try to screw this one in. And the more you press on the trigger, the faster the drill goes. Uh huh. Okay, doesn't work. Yeah, try to regrip it because you're don't holding it. Okay. Peg it and then regrip it. There you go, and now you can push the trigger. Okay, now it works. Ah, yes. Okay. Now the, the index finger feels good. Cool. Okay. Nice. Great. Okay. okay. You can open the lid of, yeah. the, of, the, of the box. So the lid of the box that's smoking. Ah, okay. You can open it. There you go. And you can take out the middle fuse. Uh huh. But be careful. And now if you go with your other hand. Yeah. And try to grab it with both hands and try to squeeze as hard as you can. And open and close it again, so like really try to squeeze it. Okay, I've it destroyed <laughs> I've destroyed a little glass now. Okay, great. And then you can put in the new fuse. Yeah. And that one is also like vibrating against yeah. your hand. You wiggle it in. Perfect. And then you need to weld it into place. So there's a welder on the right. Ah, okay. Now that's the drill. <laughs> But there's a welder <laughs> down there. Yeah, there you go. Just step, okay. do one step further. Grab it. Yeah. And then weld the bottom of the fuse. Like at the bottom. Yeah. There you go. And then all the way around. Okay, it's like a tech demo how you how like in the car manufacturing they can test like 
for instance, now. Okay. And now you're done, and now the objects start to float because you restored the anti-gravity engine, so feel, okay. able to feel free to throw everything away. And nice. So this was a demo of the Sense Glove Nova 1. Yes, I've tried it for the first time, and I have never tried before any haptic gloves. Um, it was very interesting to feel like those little clips on my fingers here, and yes, it was quite heavy. Uh, I don't know how... Yes, <laughs> it's like maybe for fitness apps even a good thing <laughs> because it's really heavy. You can do like like boxing, but of course this is not the use case for this one. And yes, I did the demo. In the demo, uh, we unfortunately had some issues here with the like in the exhibition there are like 10,000 Bluetooth devices, so there was a delay when I grabbed something it was like nothing, uh, no no resistance on my finger, and I thought, okay, what's this? It, it felt weird. But in the end, in, in the German demo, actually, there was like, uh, it was like better when I had the drill. So I did the demo now and not Sebastian because we ran out of time and then we just switch, switched a little bit. Um, but yes, it was interesting that interesting to hear that the industry is working with those gloves, to be honest. And yes, I can totally see the, the use case, but I cannot see the use case for like enthusiasts and private people and they neither they it's not a, pr a product for like private people and i understand why because it's not i mean yes we are on exhibition it's hard here to get like good connection but it, it did not feel like felt really accurate and really really good it's just another step into the right direction this is a comparison i would say is quite fair okay thank you for watching this other episode here on mrtv see you in the next one